Hey you guys, this is Beth from Dainty Daisy's Merchandise. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I'm a stay-at-home mom to three babies and a part-time reseller of mostly Goodwill jewelry blue boxes. Uh, this is, of course, another Goodwill blue box. And this one is from, I think it's from Florida, I want to say. Yeah, from Orlando, Florida, I'm pretty sure. I think I ripped it off, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it was from Florida. So we're going to jump into this. Oh, I'm getting closer and closer to that thousand subscribers. I really appreciate all of you guys' love and support and your knowledge that you share with me. I always ask if you're new to this channel, of course, subscribe. And if you have any knowledge to share, please leave me a comment. I still consider myself new at this, so take it easy on me. I might pronounce something wrong or, you know, I'm learning. So... Also, my mom is coming into town, so I might be a little slow to you guys' comments, but I promise I'll get back to you. I haven't seen my mama in, I think it's about two years now, so I'm going to be spending some nice quality time with her. All right, let's go ahead and jump into this. All right, so I see a tag, so that's cool, and Chico's. I'm seeing some nice gold looks here, and I almost forgot my loop. Let me pull that out real quick. All right, so we'll go ahead and set this aside and hope for some goodies. I feel like I do fairly well in, from Florida. Um, so let's hope for a good box. All right, I'm gonna call, go ahead and pull this gold chain out because I cannot resist some gold. So I'm stuck to my finger here. All right. Okay, we got a little, looks like we got some, some writing here. What do you say? Mm, let's see. I'm gonna try and use my Zoom a little bit more often. I had one of you guys asked me that. Okay, Monet, to use the Zoom so you guys can see the um, the labels or the designer stamp. So to help me out, and I appreciate that suggestion. Okay, this is nice and a Monet, so I'm sure it's vintage. Uh, I'm not sure if it's gold plated or anything. I'm not going to test it today, but uh, yeah, it's a good looking, good looking chain. I don't see any really big like tarnish spots or any really big wear. Maybe just a little bit right there. Not too bad though. Uh, and I like it. It's a nice little chain link necklace. And you can never go wrong with Monet. All right, this looks like a plastic bead stretch bracelet. Next is this pretty bangle. I wish the inside wasn't so tarnished because the outside looks pretty darn good. Oh, it's missing a couple little... It looks like maybe it's cloth. Oh, I guess it's supposed to look like that. I think it's cloth underneath there and it's like this raised edge. So I like it. I don't know if I'm going to resell it, but I like it. All right. So we got like a little feather or leaf. I think it's a leaf earring with a little jewel up here. So I'm going to put it to the side, see if we can find a match. All right, got another stretch bracelet. Looks like maybe this is some like chain mail. Mail, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Uh, and some jewels. It looks like a little bit tarnished over here. You can see it on there, just a little tarnishing. Hmm. I got my new cloth, um, jewelry cleaning cloth. So I'll try and clean some of this stuff up. All right, so this feels nice. Chico's, reminds me of like Tiger's Eye. I think these are just plastic, yeah. Those are just plastic with the metal, but this is nice and it's got the tag. So during Christmas time, I like to find the tag items. A lot of people like to have the new tags to give for Christmas gifts or what have you. I'm also gonna do a little Christmas gift wrapping you guys can request on my Poshmark and Etsy. And of course you can email me. My email will be down below in, in the description box and you guys can let me know um, if you're interested in a piece. And all right, so it's another stretch band. I like this one though. It's kind of got the like weaving metal look. It's stretchy though. So it looks, I mean, it's pretty, pretty decent shape. The stretch bands don't look too bad either. Sometimes you gotta be careful with those because they're really yellow and then they get like stiff and they'll break. This one looks pretty good. Um, yeah, I like the color on it too. I'm a sucker for purple, so. All right, this is nice. It's like the tortoise shell 
with the gold tone. It looks like a pull through little necklace too, so you can kind of adjust it to how long you want it. Looks pretty good. A little kink here in the middle, but I can, oh, there it is, okay. So yeah, that looks pretty good. I love the gold tone, that tortoise shell, very neutral. You can wear with a lot of stuff. So I like that a lot. It's a nice necklace. I'll definitely be putting that in my resale pile. All right, so now we've got this, I think this is probably glass. And then we've got like the little plastic jewels or the beads, not jewels. So let's see, I'm thinking this is glass. Let's just check on my Presidium. Oh, okay. So we are something else. All right, so maybe quartz. Yeah, maybe it's quartz. Cause it's kind of, it's hitting pretty good on that, on that quartz line there. So maybe that's some quartz in there. Cool. That's nice. Let's hope for a pair for that one then. These definitely just look like plastic beads to me. But yeah, I was thinking that's maybe glass. It's kind of cool to the touch. It wasn't super cold though, so cool. I will put that to the side. Hope for a match. All right, this looks like a plated ring. Little wrap, you know, chain link type of ring. Adjustable. Uh, I'll think about it. All right, next is like some plastic, maybe with some like leaf, leaves looking kind of, or dirt, I don't know. I don't know what that's supposed to be looking like, but it looks like it's got like the triangles up and down, so maybe some, it's interesting. It makes me think about it. It looks like some leather and some seed beads, so it's not terrible. I'll think about it. The chain is kind of throwing me off too. It's a little tarnished. Eh, I don't like a tarnished chain for reselling. All right, this is cute. Nice little statement necklace. Let's see what it says. J. Crew. Okay. J. Crew does well. I might be able to clean up this chain because, like I just said, I don't really care for a tarnished chain to resell. It's a little bit tougher for me to resell something that's tarnished. But uh, yeah, I'll try and clean it up. Very nice, bright, bold statement piece. Next up, if we can get it untangled, is, uh, there we go, all right. This little fake pearl twist on earring, I can't, can't quite see if there's like writing in there on that. I don't think it is. I think it's just tarnished. But yeah, definitely a vintage piece. I love the twist backs. Those are, those are cool little designs. I love seeing people's different designs. Uh, all right. Okay. Well, there we go. Nice stretchy seed bead. Another another one of those, uh, like rainbow style earring. I don't know if it's supposed to be like zigzag like that or if it's bent. <laughs> All right, I was thinking maybe this is Alex and Ani, but I don't, what is it? Mm... Something less, something less. I don't know what it says. So maybe I can, let's see if I can look at it on my camera a little bit better. Joan, I don't know how to even pronounce that. J-O-O-I-N-O. -O -O. Was that one or T-R-E-S? R-E-S? Hmm. It's pretty tarnished. I don't know if it's sterling, but it's looking a little tarnished to me. And missing some stones. Uh, it stinks. I have a little simple bangle here. Another gold tone look. I'm just going to pull a couple things out here. All right. 
so this is a dyed shell with those red plastic beads and then we've got the charms it's a lot going on on this bracelet it's definitely a busy piece I kind of like the noises it makes let me kind of push this aside so you can see it a little bit better but yeah eh. it's not screaming at me I probably will not resell that and these nice funky pieces too some nice statement piece earrings really really big earrings as you can see in my hand they're pretty pretty large so we'll put them to the side i'm not opposed to like a funky earring or uh especially this one i can't help myself the colors all right so we got a tag on this one i actually like this one a lot with these really cool statement pieces again j crew again so we got two j crew necklaces both of them some nice bold colors too this was a really good shape the leather or the cloth whatever you want to call that uh is in good shape the beads are in good shape i don't see any of these pendants missing any stones or chipped or anything they're actually fairly oh i think that's just the metal on the back but i'm sure these are just plastic let's take a look and the old presidium. I was thinking maybe this was dyed something, like maybe dyed quartz or something. But it's just kind of hopping up on glass a little bit. The rest of these look just like plastic. Plastic beads. Well, let's test these little clear crystals on it too. Glass maybe? Let's see. Thinking it might be glass. Kind of jumped up a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's kind of going back and forth, so... I like this though. This is a cool piece. This is definitely a fun spring piece. Nice springy colors on there. Yeah. I usually I feel like I sell J. Crew for usually about 15 bucks a piece. Especially if they're in really good condition. I'll usually keep it around $15. And yeah, this is a nice little ring. I think it's just plastic. We'll, we'll test it again. Or we'll pull out the Presidium again. All right, nothing on there. So a little plastic ring, like wedding band. Oh, this is pretty. A little butterfly. Tarnished and got some wear on it, but it's nice. It's a nice big, I don't even think it would fit. Maybe I'm supposed to do it the other way. All right, that's a little more comfortable. Ooh, that is a nice statement ring. Yeah, I wish it wasn't so tarnished. It would be a lot prettier to sell. I don't like to sell. It's just hard to sell something tarnished. All right, this looks like maybe it used to be a brooch. Looks like the pin pendant fell off of it. It's a nice jeweled brooch if it would have had the pin on the back. Mm, this feels like aluminum. Oh. All right, so some type of metal here. No markings. Uh, I'm probably gonna put this on a lot. I'm not opposed to it, but I like the colors actually, the like kind of rainbowish colors going on on there. All right, and we got some chains in this necklace. So this looks like maybe tarnished, pretty tarnished. So I was thinking maybe it's uh, silver. So I don't know. I'll have to clean it up. Maybe do some testing on it and see what what happens. I have my cloth right here. Actually, let's see. Let's see. I've got a gold one and a silver. I love that they actually say which ones are which. Let's just see if it cleans up any. Mm, might have to like soak it too, or it's just tarnished to no return. <laughs> Sometimes you could just get to rub and you can really see a difference already, but I'm not, I'm not seeing any. All right. I'll put it to the side. Think about it. All right. So another little silver tone chain. 
Uh, it's a little magnetic, as you can see. And this is my magnet. I know it does not look like a magnet. But this is my magnet. It's nice, actually, to have a little... I stole it from my husband. I'm going to be honest. He knows where to find it if he needs it. <laughs> so a little magnet there. But this is a good-looking chain, so I'll probably keep it. Never know when you're going to need a good chain. So another chain as well. Looking for any markings here. I don't see any. So I'm going to keep it probably. Can never go wrong with the chains. This is a nice little breast cancer. I think that's breast cancer, right? Oh, well, is it pink? That's supposed to be breast cancer. I'm not sure. But the little ribbon with the heart on it. It's cute. Yeah, we got some tangles here. All right. Whew. Got a little pile over here, so I'm just going to try and push it to the side and pull each one of my. Okay. So shout out to Ohio. I have a necklace from Buckeye, Ohio. It's in pretty good shape. I thought maybe I saw some writing on there, but I don't think I did. I think it's just some scratches. But I like that pendant. I like the glass or the plastic over. All right, big old hoop earring. I'm not seeing any markings, and it looks pretty tarnished, so. All right, so we got, is this a necklace or an earring? It looks like it's a necklace. Let's see if we can get untangled here. All right, these lovely, this one, this one's going to be a tangler right here. This one that is stretched out, it's got like four different necklaces tangled on it already. Look at this, this whole thing. It's so stretched out, it's catching on every single thing. All right, and then we got this little string with a like wooden ball. All right. This looks like some kind of like rubbery, stretchy necklace. And then it's got, I'm sure these are supposed to be bent down and not so stretched out. Uh, and then the skulls. So it is pretty tore up though. The skulls and this, look at this, this is driving me crazy. I'm going to put this to the side before I get it tangled into anything else. All right. So I'm trying to get this one out, right? Is this one I'm going for? <laughs> All right. Oh, we're almost there. Hmm. I'm trying to keep it separated. It's like got three different like layers to it. All right. Ah, yay. Nothing more accomplished feeling than untangling a necklace. All right, so it looks like a P stamp. You can kind of see it in that light. P stamp. I'll zoom in on them when I like can't read them or I really need some help identifying. All right, we're still tangled here. Let's, <laughs> all right, okay. Well, it's supposed to be three layers here. Some seed beads and then this little statement piece. It's got some kind of braiding on there. Uh, I probably will put this back in a lot. It'd be a good crafting necklace or somebody could, that would be a nice little necklace actually. I mean, it's in good shape. It's easily tangled. So would definitely try your try your nerves and your patience, I should, I should say. If I can talk today. All right, this is another tangled up mess. It's supposed to be a couple layers here, I think, like three or four. I don't see any markings on it though. And these are some plastic beads. Another good crafting necklace. All right, this whole piece right here looks like, okay. 
All right, all right, all right. Let's try. I don't know if this is two separate necklaces. I don't think I'm even going to untangle this. This is kind of cool, this piece. If I could get it untangled, I'll think about it. It's on cloth. I think these are like some wood beads. I like this blue tone in there. But I don't know if it's connected to everything else. I don't think it doesn't look connected. But I'm not going to untangle all this right now. Yeah. And then I got the nice big statement necklace, double layered with a, some bows or some maybe roses on there. And then these nice, these are pretty tarnished or at least scratched up. Maybe they're supposed to look like that. I don't know. So uh, I'm going to put it in a lot. Ooh, we got some tangles today, guys. So bear with me while I untangle everything. All right. Here we go. Another tangle. Looks like we're just wrapped around the earring, though. So that was easy. The tarnished metal again. Eh. I'm not super excited about this one. Definitely a lot of tarnishing going on. And then another bright, bold statement earring. It's missing some stones, though. All right. Next is... Ooh, this would be cool if I can get this untangled. I don't think I'm going to be able to on this video, at least. Oh my gosh. Okay. I like this little one, at least. Kind of looks like a cluster of like quartz or something, maybe. Yeah, I'm thinking quartz. It's that lighter toned, very shiny, sparkly stone. But it's wrapped up in this wonderful, what is this? Uh, like fishing wire. Wire? I'm not opposed to these beads either. These are pretty nice beads. It's got a CG stamp on there. I think you can see that pretty good. Without me having to zoom in. We'll try. Let's zoom in a little bit. Hopefully I don't make it too shaky, guys. Okay. There we go. Nice CG mark. So I'm not sure what CG that is, but I like the stones on it or the beads. I want to say maybe glass again, but I was wrong last time. So let's make sure we check. Yeah, glass. It's jumping on that glass pretty good. So those are some nice glass beads. And I can't remember CG. I want to say, uh, or CJ, I guess, maybe. I think it's a G though. Pretty sure it's a G. Mm. This is nice. Ooh, it's a big old, big old necklace here. These are some fake plastic. I wish this plastic wasn't on there. One of those uh, really bright blue again. I think it was like, well, I forget what it was called. The last time you guys told me, like Sleeping Beauty Turquoise or something like that. Or that blue though. Ooh, this bead's like about to pop out already. Very pretty blue tone though. All right, now we've got the chain with this like mother of pearl. I actually like these like mother of pearls. If this necklace, the chain, again, this tarnishing. I'm getting a lot of tarnishes today. Liddell NYC. I think that's right. Made in China. And then let's see. Yeah, L-I-D-E-L-L-N-Y-C. Let's see if I can get a shot of that again. But mother of pearl with like these wooden beads in between. Some more dyed shells or shells. This mother of pearl is really nice though. Look at that. These are really pretty. Really pretty. We got a nice bangle cuff here. 
not too bad a shape either. Nice hammered look. Yeah, it's not a bad, bad looking bangle. I don't see any, any names on it, but it still looks good. Another cheap little bangle. Ooh. Ooh, my son. I'm gonna have to, oof. I'm gonna have to find something for my daughter in here now. I haven't seen anything that I like for her yet, but this one, it's going to my boy. He is gonna flip out. He's gonna think it's like a T-Rex tooth or something. I'm sure it's maybe just a shark's tooth, like, you know, like a wooden or fake plastic one, but it's got some nice weight to it and it's really tied in there. My son is very much the destroyer. Like when I give him jewelry, he wants to destroy it all. And it makes me sad because I try to resell all my used jewelry and, you know, he'll pick something out and he'll just tear it down to the bone. Maybe he'll be an engineer or something. Who knows? But this one's going to him. Oh, this is interesting. Got some like floral designs. Looks like a pin, I think it is. I'm sure it's a pin. Okay, yep, that's a pin. So that's cool. Wonder, I'm sure it's all dried up, but should check to make sure there's no markings on it. So that's a cool little pin necklace. Not seeing any markings, but it's easy to take off, looks like. Be fairly easy to take off, so cool. It's a nifty little, little piece. I always love to find things that like open and have like secret compartments or just whatever. They're cool. The kid comes out of me. This is nice and sparkly. Little angel wings. I'm assuming you can maybe put somebody's picture on there or like glue something down. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think that's what, yeah. I'm not going to peel it off. Let's see, I think I see another one. Yeah, sure do. All right, so we got two of these. Let's make sure we don't have any markings. No, no, no. No markings. Let's see, what about the chain? Nope. All right, well, I still have two of these. Looks like this one might be, you know, the, the ring came off of it. So I'll have to put that ring back on there, but that's an easy fix. And these are good looking. There's no stones missing that I can see. Let's test the stones and see if we got any glass or anything like that. Mm, nope. Well, these are still nice. Very sparkly. Maybe so many BFF necklaces or something. Good shape. Got a... What does that say? Win, W-I-N. Okay. Hmm, nothing too spectacular. Definitely could put like a pendant or something on there. Looks like a bracelet. What's this tag say? White house, black market. Okay, I think I've heard of those before. Nice costume jewelry. Big pearls. Woohoo, we found the match. I actually might try and resell these. I usually don't do like the cloth plastic look, but I like these. These are super bright and fun. And then we got the nice big wooden green bangle. Eh. I don't know. We'll think about it. And then we got the yellow one. Another, but this is plastic. And I know some of those can be like bake light and stuff like that. I'm still trying to learn a little bit about bake light. Bake light. So if you guys have any uh, information, maybe a website or something I could check out, please let me know. I'm starting to like be able to pick up certain things here and there now that I've been doing this for going on like what, 10 months now. So uh, yeah, I still consider myself very new and green at this, but I, yeah, I'm starting to finally pick up certain things. Like I can tell when something's fake and when it's not for the most part, you know, still a newbie, but Starting to pick up things, finally. <laughs> this is an interesting necklace. It's got these little black beads and the... I like it. I like a good neutral necklace. Almost looks like bone or like coral down here as well. The phone's trying to 
lose some battery. But yeah, like I said, it kind of looks like coral or bone or something like that. Or it could just be plastic, but it's got that, you know, the, the indentions or holes in there. All right, I see the bottom of the box. We're getting closer, guys. This is a pretty, pretty solid box. There's a lot in here. All right. Bracelet. Nice stretch bangle. It's really just a bracelet. It's not a bangle. All right, this looks like a bracelet and necklace, maybe? Attached. Magnetic clasp here and yeah I'm curious if these are metal or if they're glass they got some weight to it so it might just be plastic <laughs> but it's got some weight to it so pretty good shape too I like the gray seashell another stretch bracelet but this is really nice too I really like the how individual it is it look really nice on the wrist I like the color too yeah, it looks really nice on. I like that a lot. Might save it for my next beach trip. I like the coloring on it. I'm also a sucker for blue. I like blue. All right. Oh, Harley Davidson. So I would probably resell this just because it's got the Harley Davidson on there. Normally wouldn't resell something like this, but yeah, since it's got that on there, I'll definitely try and resell that. This is nice. Oh, this is really cold. So it's definitely some kind of stone. Let's see. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe quartz or something like that again. Yeah. It's nice though. Look at all these little beads too with it. Yeah, this is pretty. This design is really nice. Just dirty. Got to clean it up a little bit. Yeah, that's a nice, cool little funky piece. I like the green tie on there too. I'm not usually into the cloth, but yeah, I'm not opposed to it when it's got a cool little piece like that. I like these because they're on the tag. And of course, who doesn't like some like colorful statement earring? It's another fun one. To, maybe we could sell them all together. But yeah, it's a nice one. Got the tags on it still, or at least the holder, not necessarily the tag. Don't see any names. Or anything on there. You guys told me to actually feel the bar to feel if there's any indentions or writing. I thought that was super smart. So thank you for the advice. But yeah, I like those. All right, you got the in statement bracelet. Looking to make sure we don't have any markings on this as well. Like, please be 925. Please be 925. I don't see any markings though. So, but that's a nice one too. Definitely very uh, trendy piece. All right, we got like the flower or this would have been really cool if it had all the stones. Looks we're missing a couple stones on there. Mm. Not seeing any markings, but we're gonna test the, the jewels. Nothing, nothing on there. Let's test this one barely moved well I wish you weren't missing your stones little piece because that would have been a really nice earring for Christmas time I might be able to find one at the bottom and glue it back together but we'll see all right so another shell oh this kind of matches a where is that bracelet almost right almost not quite mm, I don't see any markings on this either they're kind of worn down with that blue, so. Mm. Another little statement earring. All right, we've got the leather with the turtles. The yin and yang symbol. Yeah, mm. let's see, yeah. Figured it was a very magnetic. It might be the in-between so not. Let's try these down here. It keeps wanting to suck it up to those ones up there. Let's see. 
Yeah, it's all magnetic. So it's not a bad looking bracelet though. Oh, wonderful mystery here. Looks like a melted beads together. Hmm. Yeah, I'm probably just going to put that in a lot. This almost looks like copper. Like very coppery on the inside. I don't think that's a word, but very much copper on the inside. I don't know. The top kind of does too, but it's got kind of like a goldish tone to it. Like copper brassy look. This is a pretty little flower with the pearl in there. No name, but it's a pretty little earring. We keep on digging out. Oh. All right. So next is this piece. I like this chain. This is a nice chain. And we've got some kind of writing on here. So let's see what it says. Bronze Malor Italy. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but Bronzo Italia. Cool. It's a nice chain. I'll look that up. I don't I don't think I've heard of heard of that before, but I'll look it up and see. We got another little tag too. Let's see what it says. Same bronze Malor Italy. So maybe that's like an extender cuz it looks like these two have tags on it again, but this looks like maybe an extension on the necklace. See the three different class here. But that's a nice chain. Definitely let you guys know what that what that is. It's a nice piece. Definitely a nice chain. Okay, another little must have been a missing piece on that necklace. This looks like some dyed dyed something. Let's see. Just reading glass, but it's some kind of something. It's really pretty with the little brown flecks in there. Flakes, I guess I should say. Oh, we got some writing. Let's see what you say. China 925 though, so that's cool. So it's a 925 chain. Oh, we got a little heart on there too. All right, well, that'll be nice. I can clean that chain up really good. I mean, this is a nice necklace. I really like it. I like the, the tones on it. And of course, with the silver, it makes it even better. So yeah, it's a pretty piece. Maybe this used to be a bracelet or an earring or something. Very pretty, very colorful. It's got like the American flag on the back and like some daisies or a flower. Looks like some glued on beads, but yeah, would have been cool if that was like all attached. <laughs> this carriage, I'm like, ooh. All right. This looks very tarnished. I wonder if I could clean that up any if it's silver. Hmm. Very, very tarnished. All right. Little plastic bead again. Earring. And I got some attached earrings. I love when people like attach them together. Oh, all right. Well, it doesn't want to. Okay, there we go. All right. Just trying to make sure we don't have any names on here. Looks like little shields. But at least they're matching. All right. Let's go ahead and look at this one because I cannot resist. This is so pretty. Look at this carriage. Like a little royal carriage or something. Maybe it's like a lover with the two hearts. Let's see. Looks like we got a stamp back here. Let's see what we got. All right. Oh, it's a crown chafari with a C stamp. Oh, uh, I want to say, God, what is that? Like maybe 1940s or maybe 1960s. I can't remember what the C stamp was. But, oh, this is so pretty. And it's chafari, so I bet you this is going to be a really good find. I bet you it is. Let's see. 
It's got these little like stones in the corners and stuff. So let's just make sure we're not working with any kind of, I don't remember if they used like real stones or anything, but they're so pretty. Let's check it out. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's reading anything, but since it's that stamp Trafari, it looks in good shape too. I don't see any, like, you know, on each side, anything missing. Nothing missing on the back of the carriage. And then the, the gold tone looks really good. So, yeah, that's going to be a nice, this is going to be a nice find. Guarantee you, I bet you money, this is going to be a nice one. Super pretty. Really cool piece. I love a nice detailed piece. So, that would be so pretty as a brooch, too, with that little jewel hanging down. Yeah. This is, this is going to be a good find. All right. Next, another chain mail. Mail. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Chain mail? Chain mail? Necklace. What does it say? Jiyun Bang? It's a cool piece, though. So. It's definitely something I would probably wear. I like some minimal metals i like some metals going on and i have i have quite a few chunky gold toned necklaces that i've gotten out of these boxes that i gladly wear so that's a nice little butterfly earring lots of butterflies so far oh we're getting closer closer to the bottom here Got a lot of little tiny pieces. Ugh, look at all these little pieces. Look at all the teeny tiny little pieces. Ay, ay, ay. I feel like I might just have to dump this out when I get done with this next pile. All right. All right, this is interesting. I wonder if these are like, saw, I thought I saw another one in here. Maybe not. Like, are these napkin rings? These are pretty small. Maybe they're for little kids or something. My, actually, this is a really good idea. My daughter would totally wear these. I think this one would be a little bit too small, but this one, ooh, she would totally wear it. Mm, so, yay, I found something for my son and my daughter. I'll be very happy with that. This might fit her little tiny hand, too. I'll hold it, hold on to it, too. This feels really pretty solid. Mm, it's a little magnetic. Maybe it's plated or something. But yeah, that's a cool piece too. I'm going to put it to the side. Ooh, the, what is this? Cloisonne, Cloisonne. This is nice. Ooh, I have one. I think that's really dark blue. Those would look so, I think it's this color. And it's got, I like this one a lot though. That baby blue. Ooh, that is so pretty. Like the turquoise blue, the green. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a really pretty piece. Very beautiful. Oh, I'm going to have to maybe think about keeping that one. All right, Canada. Shout out to Canada. Got a little bracelet. Another daisy. No markings. Maybe there's some on the on the bar. Maybe. Oh. Yeah, I don't feel anything. But yeah, it's a nice little black and white daisy metal daisy there. I don't know why I put that over there. I'm going to go over here. Oof, you're going to go right there. This little, ooh, y'all, I can't. I'm excited to look that up. All right, we got a little world. I might have to keep this for my kid again. You guys, these are not some really cute pieces. I could use these for school too because I do pre-K at home, which is super fun, and we get to do a lot of different. Kenneth Lane. Kenneth Lane. Maybe we'll find a match to you, Kenneth Lane. Oh, look at this tiger's eye. Mm, this is nice. All right, we got a stamp on here. What does it say? I'm sure, it says maybe 925. This looks very 925-ish to me. Definitely vintage. That's really nice. Really pretty little tiger's eye there. And let's see. What about this one? Nothing. Missing some jewels, too. Ring. Missing some jewels. Oh. It's a pretty little charm. 
All right, some more, looks like amber, plastic amber look. Eh, probably just gonna put those in a lot. I don't see any names on them either. This is nice, nice little pear. I don't know if maybe that's supposed to be a palm tree or maybe it's just like a star or something, I don't know. Don't see any markings on it either. No, actually, I need to check this part too. Hmm. I don't feel anything. So yeah, but at least it's on, you know, the paper already. Look, we got another one on the paper already and it's in good shape. Gosh, we got like a lot of these today. What is this for now? These ones with the backs on it. These look just like plastic costume jewelry. And then let's see, let's see what this one says, if anything. Hmm. Yeah, I don't feel anything. So we'll put that to the side. Think about it. Looks like a broken like piece of a bracelet or charm, something. All right. Another one with the missing jewels. It's a pretty little like bow. The jewel on it. Nice little earring. I've been searching for a little hoop. I was hoping I'd find like a gold tone hoop for myself because I'm kind of into that look with the little smaller gold hoops. Let's test this little stone on there. Do you see that little stone? The little tiny blue stone? Let's see. Nothing. But it would be cute if I find the pair for the match. All right, looks like maybe the pair was attached to this. It got ripped off. Okay, this is an earring. I was like, what is this? This is an earring. Little cat earring with missing jewels again. Their little earring. Oh, is this supposed to be like little ladybugs, maybe? Little metal ladybugs. The class might be. Yeah, it's a little stretched out. Look, that's a cute little little painted beads. Looks like ladybugs to me. Mm, nothing in there. Another nice statement earring. All right, we're just gonna dump this right on out. Let's hope we don't go anywhere. All right, I think I got most of it. There's some, some stuff stuck in here. Oh, guys, I'm sorry. Making y'all sick over here. Some little beads stuck in there, but, oh. There they are. I thought I saw some in there. All right. So we kind of got this like silverish toned and then the more gold toned. I think these would be entirely too small for my daughter's wrist, but these two I might could wing. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. We'll just put it to the side. All right. Did I find the, another one of these? I don't know. I'll look through the pile. It's missing some stones, sadly. Yeah, those would have been really cute for Christmas, too. Monet. See the Monet stamp on there. I don't see a match to this, though, in my pile of stuff. <laughs> but that's cool. Maybe I'll find the match. Mm. Another earring. I don't know what this, oh, maybe it was supposed to be connected to something somehow. I don't know. Oh, this is nice. What is this? It's got like a key. You see that little key on there with a little jewel? It's got some like jeweled flowers. So maybe this could have gone on a necklace. Let's see. Let's test these little stones. I think it might be missing one. Oh, there's the metal. Huh? Let's try not to hit that metal. All right. She's a fake. 
yeah. But that's it would be a nice pendant if I can find a necklace to match it. Oh, I was hoping this was a pendant. It is not. It's some kind of attached to something. Bang. The J-E-U-N bang again. That would have been a nice pendant. Kind of reminds me of like a David Yerman vibes. Yep, another tarnished earring. Some broken pieces. More broken pieces. Oh, I wish you were real, right? <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Another pendant or charm of some sort. Another one of those. A little lapel. I think that's what it was called. Lapel. It goes on a suit. I guess I should pay me to look at that and make sure. We don't have any writing on there. It looks maybe plated or something to me. Got the cloth on there. All right, let's try and push some of this to the side so I can see what I'm working with here. All right. Another broken earring. Mm, not really feeling this one with that plastic on the back. Mikkel Golan? Michael Golan, maybe? Hmm, I think I've heard of him before. I'll have to look that up. Okay, we got the match. Yay! These are pretty, too. These would be nice Christmas earrings, too. Little charm, more charms. I thought that should Chanel for a second chance. <laughs> All right. Nice set of earrings. Ooh, this is pretty. What is this? Like double sided. Ooh, that's so pretty. Let's test this guy. It looks pretty tarnished up here. So let's hope for the best. Oops. Sorry, my phone. Telling me I need to put it on a charger. Let's see. Ooh, maybe some glass, more glass, and glass. Oh, that's the metal. That's the metal binging. I might could clean up that metal a little bit, because this is a really nice little, little piece, little pendant. Very sparkly. I like that it does it on both sides. How clever. You could switch it up. All right. Little crystal of some sort. Pretty cold to the touch. Oh, this is nice. That's why you gotta check all so it says 925 on there. Let's check it, see if we're dealing with some glass. Kind of looks like glass to me. Eh, it's not really going very much up there. Another charm, charm, more charms. All right, guys, looks like we've got a lot of broken pieces and a belly button ring. Yum. All right, guys, well, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. You guys are always, I appreciate all of you guys' support and the knowledge you share with me. I'm ecstatic to look this little guy up. So hopefully we got a winner here. And go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. Leave me a like and a comment. And until next time.